Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome back to my channel. We're actually in my kitchen and it's kind of exciting to be in my kitchen because I have worked on painting cabinets for literally it took six weeks, mostly because I did it all myself and yeah, trying to work a full-time job along with redoing a kitchen is not a fun task. The only thing that I had going for me was my sister was coming into town and so I couldn't have a half done kitchen. But now the kitchen looks fantastic. I love it and it doesn't visually assault me as I come through it every morning. So anyways, I am excited to actually film in my kitchen for the very first time. This video is about some teas that I have been graciously given by Sipsby and or Sips by. How about we use Sips by not Sipsby? Potato, potato. Okay, Sip Spy contacted me and asked if I would review some of their teas. And being a tea drinker, I was totally for it. I love hot teas. For whatever reason, um, hot teas to me are amazing. I am just not a cool tea drinker. Not for me. Not for me. When they contacted me about trying some of their teas from Sip Spy, I was totally up for something new and exciting to put on my channel. And I also love subscriptions. Sip Spy is a $15 a month subscription that you actually, when you go online, and I will put their website right here, is that you actually take a quiz. And I think that's brilliant. So when you take a quiz, it allows Sip Spy to kind of tailor the teas for your subscription to your taste. And I find that absolutely fantastic. A lot of boxes that you can get, and normally I review beauty boxes, is you really don't have an opportunity to customize. I think some of the boxes are going that way, but overall, you just kind of get what you pay for. So Sip Spy, it, you actually take the quiz, which I think is fantastic, and they tailor the teas to your taste. After doing the taste test with my husband today, which you will see in a minute, it was really interesting because I did love all the teas. I did have my favorite, I had my second favorite, and then there was a tie for third. All of the teas though, I would repurchase again, absolutely. So their quiz is spot on to your taste. Absolutely love it. I do wanna say thank you to Sip Spy for giving me the opportunity to try your teas. They are fantastic. I give it a double thumbs up. So for any of my subscribers, if you are a tea drinker, I would highly recommend you checking out Sip Spy. There's their website. And yeah, I would like to know what your thoughts are on this subscription The four teas box. that we are going to get ready to jump into are the Tee Hee Hee, the Early Bird. We have from Bear Leaves, the Fujian Oolong. I probably just butchered it. That's why I had to say it kind of cute and saucy was because I knew I was gonna butcher the words. Then we have the Zest Tea, the Spicy Marsala Chai. And lastly, we have Tea head strawberry blend caffeine. All right, y'all, here we go. We're jumping in to the taste test. Hello, y'all. I am so excited to have my husband with me. This is Rob Kaser. He is going to be testing the teas with us today. He's going to give us the tea on the tea. That's right. All right, so we are going to start out with Tee Hee Hee, which is the early bird. The early bird is a daytime blend that will help energize you while kicking your bad breath. Hmm, you say. Yes, it actually has herbs that promote fresher breath. Who doesn't need to keep this around the clock? Okay, the way you don't have to be that person that is secretly holding their breath while talking as long as you drink tea hee hee. All right, so we're gonna be trying this and then don't, don't be trying to smell my breath. Don't be trying to smell my breath yet. So what's your thoughts? a little weak right now. So I've had this steeping for about 10, but it's good. 15 it's... minutes. So what's your thoughts? It's weak? It was a little weak because I don't think it started up, but I think it's uh, got a good pleasant taste and uh, it's good, refreshing. I agree with Rob. The, the, 
this, these all have been steeping for a while. This heat is very light. It is not overwhelming as far as going on your palette, which is really nice. Um, I'm really curious to see though, how does it take away bad breath? Well, I'll let you know. <laughs> all right. So you like a very light tea that isn't heavy and kind of overwhelming with herbs, spices, etc. I would say the Tee Hee Hee Early Bird is something that you want to try. Okay, our next tea that we are going to try is the Fujian Oolong. I don't sounds know. Sounds good to me. That sounds good, right? The Oolong was grown in the eastern Fujian province of China. It has a medium oxidation level and a toasty flavor. I wonder if what toasty flavor means. You go first on the toasty flavor. Okay. Do you taste toast? Is there butter? <laughs> no, but it's got a good, almost like a citrusy. All right, here we go. Say citrus. Uh, it doesn't say anything about citrus. And it's just me. All right, it's because you got fresh breath. I would say this is another light tea. It's definitely lighter. So if you're, again, in the light tea, you don't like something heavy and overwhelming, this one is definitely it. Ooh, be careful, it's loose. Order the teas that um, basically, okay. without a bag, they will send you a tea bag, which is nice. I think this is a nice, refreshing tea, very similar to the early bird, but don't know if it helps you with your breath. But I think that is a nice tea for maybe even at night. And I can't tell, it doesn't say if it's caffeinated or not. Can't help you there as far as whether it's caffeinated or not. Now we're gonna step not. it up a level and we are gonna go with the spicy, is that masala chai? Sure. All right. She's just uh, trying to get me to say weird names. Well, yeah, because I don't wanna be the only one butchering them. I'll try it. Okay, you try first. According to Indian mythology, the demigod, oop, this one's going to be hard to pronounce, Lakshmana, was resurrected using a magical herb, elix herb, hmm, herb, elixir, herb, elixir, the first ever chai, which I love chai teas. The feds won't let us say our spicy marsala chai can revive the dead. But the flavorful infusion of South Indian black tea and traditional spices packs a punch that some would call divine. This one does have caffeine. It's got 150 milligram per cup. So what do you think? It's good. It's got a, it definitely has a little kick to it, but not overpowering. Ew, I want something with a kick. Oh, yeah, you can definitely taste that chai flavor. Okay, so when I get teas like this, I do like to put a little bit of cream in it. My Scottish son, Michael Scott, and I have a long time standing joke that we make friendship bread, which kind of had a chai flavor. Don't ask me how we did that. But then we had a chai, chai latte, I believe. And so we renamed chai the friendship latte. So this is, get, is gonna be renamed from spicy masala chai to the friendship tea. Well, it's definitely got more spice to it. It's just not all chai. And that's in honor of our son, Michael Scott. Okay, so this one is really good. I could put a little bit of cream in that and really uh, that would be Okay, I left top. this one to the end because this one is my favorite. I like refreshing. I love fruit. This one is a strawberry blend. This juicy fruit tea blend is like eating a delicious garden of fresh strawberries and blackberries. Packed with vitamins and without any caffeine, you can enjoy this blend any time of day. So this one, when I opened it up, has little dried bits of the fruit, which absolutely made me excited. And then when I tried the tea, I was absolutely hooked. This by far, out of the four, is my favorite. And I probably shouldn't have said that before he tried it, but... I just tried it and it was good. It's my favorite too, so... It's is good. it? But I like fruity drinks. You do? Yeah. I didn't know you like fruity drinks. I thought you've always gone like away that, from fruit. The, um, what other other tea we have? Is it a raspberry or something? Oh, yeah, you're right. He does like fruity teas. I take it go. back. I take it back. All right, so Bring out it. of the four, I know you're leaving to go to work. That's my favorite. This is probably my second, and those two kind of tie. And I would probably, I would drink most of those with like breakfast, and then these are like evening teas for me. 
All right, so Rob and I kind of um, have the same exact thoughts as far okay, as Okay, so Rob go. decided to take out of the four, he's taken the Tea Head Strawberry Blend with him to work. So that one has one Rob's taste test. Again, all four of these are absolutely fantastic. They are spot on. When I got a lot of teas, I wasn't sure if I, you know, you never know if you're going to like something or not, but these were absolutely, absolutely Thank you so much for joining on. my video on the review of the Sip Spy tea. Thank you so much, Sip Spy, for allowing me to try these teas and sending them to me. I'm absolutely thankful and appreciative of the, the opportunity to review these for me. And yeah, they're all fantastic. Your quiz was spot on. So I hope some of my subscribers do try teas by Sip Spy because yeah, if you take that quiz, it's going to be spot on for you. I promise. I promise. All right, y'all. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.